Hi, I'm Rich Galassini, and welcome to another episode of Piano Tastings. Now, usually on this program, we talk about what makes pianos unique and different. But I'm really excited to say we're here at NAM, which is the National Association of Music Merchants. And I'm here with a piano celebrity. Uh, yes, somewhere, somewhere. No, this is Frank Baxter. Frank Baxter runs a fantastic website called pianoworld.com. Mm -hmm. And the forums, are, you have all kinds of piano information on there. You can buy piano supplies, but most importantly, you can go to the forums and talk, sometimes in real time, but talk with musicians from all around the world about any subject given to a piano. Correct. Now, tell me, why did you start this website, Frank? You started it in the 90s. That's correct. I started in the 90s. It was, at that point, a hobby to keep me out of trouble when I wasn't out playing or tuning pianos. Something fun to do, and then people kept coming to it and saying, well, that's interesting, but how about this? What can you answer this question? Right. In fact, I seem to remember... You were one of those people that came I was to it one of and, and said, hey, why don't you do this? And from way back, if, if I remember correctly. That's right. And so it, it sort of, one thing fed the other. People would ask me a question, and I'd say, I don't know the answer to that, but I'll get you the answer to that. And it eventually grew to the point where I have people that are answering those questions that I can't answer, which is now probably most of them. But uh, That's right. Uh, you began the forums in the 90s and had a few hundred members. Yes. How many members do you have now? Um, when I checked just before coming to the show, we were about to roll over to 78,000. 78,000. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now, of those 78,000, maybe not all of them are active now, That's but correct. certainly there's a few thousand there. There are. And just about any question that someone could ask, somebody on that forum, I mean, this forum is full of piano enthusiasts, people that love instruments. That's right. There, in fact, the last number I looked at on the forums for the amount of posts that we had was somewhere around 2.5 million. Two and a half million. Yeah, so, if you don't want to take the trouble to post a question, you could probably search and find it. That's correct. That's, That's awesome. Correct. That's awesome. Yeah. So, you've been in the industry for your entire life. I have. Well, not my entire life yet, but right. <laughs> for the, the entire life so far. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> uh, yeah, I started in high school. So, for someone who's just growing up who wants to start playing, do you have any advice for them? Well, the first thing I, that I would say to someone that's interested in getting into the piano is find a good instruction. Nice. A good teacher is yes. usually the best bet. Mm -hmm. um, if you can't find a good teacher physically, find a good teacher electronically. Although I happen to be of the old school that prefer the teacher be sitting next to you. Can't always happen. That's right. Um, but yeah, to me, a good teacher. And then the other thing that I often have said to people, and, and, and I used to sell it when I, say, when I sold pianos, was you have to have a reasonably good instrument yes. to practice on. That's right. Uh, the old family upright that Grandpa had that hasn't been touched in 67 years mm -hmm. is probably not going to suffice. It's going to end up discouraging you because it's not going to play well and you're not going to enjoy it. So the two pieces that I normally say is, yes, find a good teacher and, and find a, a good instrument to practice. When I'm on Piano World, on the piano forums, I feel, and by the way, you've been a piano store owner in your past, That's right? That's correct. So I feel like I'm in the back room of Frank's piano store, sitting there with a group of people, and he's let us in the back, and we can smell the glue, we can smell the dust, and we can sort of hear somebody tuning a piano in the distance. <laughs> so I thank you for having Piano World. I'm really happy that you could join us today, and um, we'll look forward to many more years of expansion with Piano World. Well, absolutely. I hope so. So this is Frank Baxter. I'm Rich Galassini. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Piano Tastings.